And this is Jared Dees from TheReligionTeacher.com. Our goal as religious educators is an encounter with Christ in class. We want them not only to know about God, about Jesus, about Christ, we want them to know God, know Jesus, have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. But as educators, there are a few habits that I know I fall into, and I know others fall into as well, that hinder those encounters from happening in class. The first one is teaching too fast. There's so much to teach and not enough time. As a result, we don't take the time to slow down, be present to the students, understand what's going on in their lives, and bring them to experience activities that are going to lead to that encounter slowing down and letting those thoughts, those prayers, those, those connections be made personally with the things that we're doing in class. I know we have a lot in, to teach in that textbook, in our curriculum, and throughout, throughout the year. There's more than we could possibly teach in a chapter, in a, in a book. The key is to pick what's important, slow down, and be present to the kids to be able to give them that opportunity to have an encounter with Christ in class. The second habit that often hinders those encounters with Christ in class is the shiny activity syndrome. And I find myself falling into this trap quite a bit. The shiny activity syndrome is just an interesting name, I think, to express what happens often after we go searching for activities, either in our textbooks, teacher's manuals, on Google, on Pinterest, on um, Instagram, on YouTube, we're searching for things. We find a good video, we find a good activity, we find a fun craft or a game, we bring it into our lesson, and they might even learn something really important. They might even understand more deeply what you're teaching in class, but do they have that encounter with Christ? Do we make sure that those activities that we find are also an opportunity to encounter? Because all it takes is a little bit of meditation or prayer experience to add to what we often find online or in our, our teacher's manuals. We want to make sure that we're making these personal activities, these opportunities not only to learn, but to love the Lord as they're learning. And the third and final hindering habit <clears throat> that I often find myself falling into, and I know others do as well, is rage and resentment. And rage might be too strong of a word, but I know I find myself falling into this snapping at the kids or yelling at the kids or getting really angry when they're acting out. They might not be listening, they might be goofing around, and it seems very disrespectful. And I often respond with rage. I often resent the kids for acting out. And those are bad habits to fall into because the more we're angry, the more we're resentful towards those kids, the less we're going to be able to allow them to have those encounters in Christ, with Christ in class. The more we're going to be an obstacle to that experience of the Lord's loving mercy. So what do we do? We need to have empathy. We need to get to know our kids. We need to look at them with love just as the Lord Jesus loves them so that we can help them have that encounter. So that we're not in the way of them experiencing that relationship with God. So these are just some habits that none of us want to do but often fall into as religious educators. We're teaching a little bit too fast, not slowing down, being present, being able to help them have that experience of encounter. We get distracted by some shiny activities, some fun activities that may not give them the chance to also meditate and connect with Christ, experience that encounter in a prayerful way. And then we can often be the obstacle ourselves. Letting that anger, letting that resentment get in the way of the kid and Christ. So those are some some habits to avoid, making sure that we are being an example of Christ's love in the classroom, slowing down, being present, and giving the kids the opportunity to have that relationship with God that we also have and want to share with them in class. Go make disciples. God bless.